Today's question comes from John in British Columbia. He said, my wife and I have three and a half years of car payments ahead of us, and our monthly payment is 300 bucks. We've got two kids, earn about 45000 a year after taxes, and our budget is fairly tight with no wiggle room. We have roughly 20 k in a TFSA and owe 15 k on the car. You say to use any non-retirement investments to pay off debt, but why should we use the 20 k we saved, which is making 10% interest a year, to pay off a payment which has 0% interest? I don't see the benefit of doing that, especially since it would leave us with almost no savings. <laughs> Interesting. Not the first time we've heard this, uh, this scenario, Dave. I could put my money in the market and make way more than my debt is costing me in interest. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Um, you make $45,000 a year. You have a $300 car payment that's causing you stress. Your best thinking has gotten you to this point. So are you going to keep using your best thinking? I have to ask myself those same questions. I mean... It's like, you know, I hired a personal trainer one time to come to our house and had a little gym in the bottom of the house and Sharon's making fun of me. You're paying somebody to help you count to 10, one, two, three, you know, and I'm like, it's not what it is. And she says, well, you don't listen to him. You don't do what he says. He's got a six pack. You got a keg. I mean, you ought to listen to the guy. Uh, my best thinking got me a keg. His best thinking got him a six pack. Who are you going to listen to? So who are you going to listen to? Your, your best thinking or someone else's? Yeah. That's, that's at the core of this. And that's not because I'm offended that you didn't just jump on this but you know one of the things we have to do in this process is uh go my way is not working i need a new way i mean if you keep making a cake over and over again and you want chocolate cake and it keeps turning out vanilla you need to change the recipe yeah uh doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result is the definition of insanity so that's at the core of this um and then we can answer the question, too. Yes, but that, that, that foundation needs to be there. And what's happening here is I love math as much as the next guy, but if you just do math, you go, wow, this works, man. I'm going to invest all the money in the market and leverage all the debt I can. But math is only part of the equation. we got to talk about behavior. We have to talk about risk. We've got to talk about options and freedom, which he doesn't have right now because he has a car payment. And yeah. so if you want to have that freedom, you've got to make a sacrifice here. Based on your theory, John, you would borrow 300000 on a car at 0% and put it all in a market at, at 10%. And obviously, when I say that out loud, you hear the absurdity of it. And that's how absurd your overall question sounds, actually. So, um, And the reason is you've left out risk, you've left out cash flow, you've left out peace. And so what I want you to do, you can do whatever you want to do, but what we would teach you to do is pay off your car today or sell it if you're going to keep it. If you're not going to keep I mean, if you don't want... You want to keep the money, that's fine. Sell the car. Uh, but but I'd pay it off today if I'm going to keep it. And then I would continue to move through the baby steps, which puts you, if that makes you debt-free, then you're going to move towards your emergency fund. I'm building that up. And then you're going to move towards retirement accounts. Which it looks like he'd have about 5000 left over, even after paying off the car. So that'll get him yeah. some headway into baby step three. So I'm not sure in British Columbia what a TFSA is. I'm assuming the way he asked the question that it is not retirement account. Yeah. Um, and so, but um, but conceptually, if it's not a retirement account, I'm pulling the money and paying the car off or I'm selling the car. One of the two. You need to get rid of your car payment, John. Uh, because it, it's, but the other thing you got to really think about is uh, my best thinking brought me here, number one. That's not working. Number two, um you you have to ask yourself if the information I'm getting somewhere else is credible, and if it is credible, I'm going to submit myself to that new way of thinking. And so, um, you know, it, it can be just simply uh, I was reading a book on parenting when the kids were little, and it said this, this, and this, and this, and I went, oh, I've never done that. I've never even thought about that. And I thought, yeah, but the source, the author was somebody I believed in. And I thought, you know what, he probably knows more about it than I know. So I'm going to start doing that. Do it his and, way. You know, after reading about 15 of those books, the kids turned out. None of them live in my basement. So there you go. Boom. And so it means I'm a success, right? So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Open phones at 888-825-5225. For you basement dwellers, you have to know uh, that um, an eagle who fails to launch is eventually known as a turkey. So I like that one. I don't know um, if I've heard that. That's where you go. So set the little eaglets free. It's good for them. The little wings will develop. and Turkeys we, get shot. We will have society. And, um, yeah, and we eat them at Thanksgiving. Yeah, so there you go.